Hey, happy Cheese Friday, everyone. It's not bad today. Good morning everyone. It is Cheese Friday once again and today we have a Vermont Creamery goat cheese. This goat cheese is everything bagel coated. So everything bagel is a seasoning blend that is used on, I know, shocking bagels to give them every flavor but it's actually a really nice blend and this particular version I see flax seeds, poppy seeds, uh, some uh, onion flake, uh, some little red pepper flakes. It looks really delightful. Goat cheese is, well, goat cheese has a lot of range. It can be uh, slightly aged and become a nice crumbly cheese for on top of salads. Uh, it can be an early cheese that is uh, smooth and creamy, which is what this one is, this version is. So you can see here. I know you can't really see it that well, but against my little pajama shirt here, yes, I'm doing Cheese Friday in my pajamas. It's that kind of day. I'm not even getting dressed. So, but uh, it still has that tangy goat cheese smell, which uh, for some people can be pungent, for other people is very soothing. Uh, goat cheese, it's a uh, goat's milk, so not from cows, from a goat. And uh, then they add the rennet to uh, cheesify it, or you know, that's my that's my word, cheesify. And once they do that, uh, uh, voila, cheese. So, but uh, I digress. The goat cheese is it's a little bit tangy, and in this case, like I said, nice and creamy. Uh, this was this is goat cheese goes well with like uh, vegetables. So if you're making a, a party tray and you've got your goat cheese include some of those little uh, red peppers, uh, some celery, uh, you know, I've got some neutral sort of uh, a chip, it's an egg life wrap, but uh, uh, <clears throat> it also goes well with like jellies, jams, uh, excellent with nuts, that kind of thing. So uh, where sometimes we're going towards like those cured meats and those hearty flavors, in this case you want to pair it with something uh, bright and, uh, and juicy to go with it which is why I'm leaning towards like those uh, uh, the mini uh, peppers. They're not bell peppers, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, so that's what you do with your goat cheese. Uh, the other thing is, I mentioned that I'm in my PJs. We're having coffee and it's necessary, as you can tell. The other thing about the goat cheese is that it is low in lactose. So if you have problems with cheese, uh, it's worth the experiment of trying a little bit of goat cheese to see if you can handle it. You might be able to handle it in small amounts. Uh, it's a, it, like I said, it's not 100% lactose free, but it is very low and they find a lot of people with lactose intolerance or, uh, or dairy issues can actually eat uh, goat cheese. So um, also sheep's milk cheese, uh, similar family. So. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about that. And uh, the other thing too, is we talk a lot about prebiotic and probiotic and your gut health here on this channel. And you should know that goat cheese specifically has a lot of probiotic, probiotics in it, uh, naturally occurring in the goat milk and then the uh, rennet added to it uh, boost up that bacteria that is really healthy for our gut, our gut. So again, there's a lot of power in the goat cheese uh, from a food standpoint, but here's the important part, right? Let me just give this a little, another cut. Get my little allocation here. I have other foods I want to eat today, and so we get our little cracker and our goat cheese. Mm. Maybe that was too big of a bite, it took me a minute, and so you had some dead air there, but, mm. 
That was really good. It's like a slightly tangier and a little bit drier than your cream cheese. Oh, I'll tell you what. This would be spectacular. Shoved into a big jalapeno and then uh, baked off in the oven or uh, put on your grill for to be smoked or wrap it with some bacon. Jalapeno poppers with this goat cheese. And uh, I did mention uh, at the start that this was from Vermont Creamery. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, Vermont Creamery is a, a dairy up in uh, Vermont. Surprise, shock, in uh, Websterville. Uh, they've been around since like the early 80s. And it was just a, a, a couple who uh, went out on a limb and they really have a high focus on their local uh, farm, their local cows, their lo and local goats. And uh, they have just simply nailed it. They do all of the right things for their animals. They, uh, they don't do anything crazy. Uh, they're not fostering uh, with any uh, uh, unhealthy additives or things like that. They're very, very good about being very organic and uh, all of that fun stuff, you know, grass-fed, grass-finished cows, a uh, beautiful, beautiful farm. So really, whenever I run across Vermont Creamery uh, uh, goods, I do like to pick them up because the, the quality, it's they're just really excellent. And of course, like I said, the owners were lovely people. So uh, that's, that's it. I know, a lot of rambling this morning because uh, I'm like, uh, it's Friday. And I just have like a task list. You could get one of those scrolls and roll it out across. So I'm glad that I have something extra nice for a little treat this morning. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday for Coffee Talk. We're gonna have a lovely tea to share with you. And uh, we're gonna make some uh, cookies. So I hope to see you Sunday night on our live stream. Bring your ideas, bring your chatter. Uh, let's have a nice little community talk and uh, also What's the date today? It's the 8th. So tonight you might want to chime in to Cindy DeManchi's uh, Live stream because you might see a certain nerd on there. Uh, I Will make sure I will talk to you all later. So bye-bye. Have a good one